Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today once again it's well not today it's the same day just midnight um, I am going to once again you know do a very very quick devlog because you know I wouldn't do it but I'd usually do it after school but you know and it's so much homework in 10th grade so yeah when else am I gonna be fucking doing it I mean like I have no time for my personal interests it's amazing like how much homework ruins your life fuck you school anyways uh, let's get back into it and um, I just want to do some quick coding and I rewatched the last video and remembered that oh yeah you can't you guys can't goddamn see what I was doing because I didn't zoom in so let's see I have public void trigger um, and this is only gonna be like 20 minutes of work because uh, obviously I have no fucking time tomorrow but then again I have school so you know I'm gonna get seven hours of sleep tonight when in reality I need ten so yeah fuck me I'm gonna die anyways um it's fuck you school and homework uh, anyway so uh, let's go to nucleus manager and um, what we need to do is figure out how to trigger the nucleus, if I am correct. So, when we trigger it, we're going to have to trigger all the connections. Now, the nucleus, let's write some comments here. So, the um, nucleus represents connected nucleus, and the integer represents confidence rate of corresponding nucleus, right? So, now when we trigger it, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to trigger all of the connections for now. Just for now, we might change it in the future, or I might change it in the future, but we'll see. So we're going to say, um, we're going to have to somehow loop through each hash map, each, each, um, yeah, each hash map. I, I, is that what each index in the hash map and print both of them with the confidence rate but in the order of the confidence rate so let's just go over um, to upper GX just in case and we can say for you know what uh, we can say Because we're gonna want to iterate it through it in order, so four and i equals to zero, and then we say i is smaller than uh, connections dot length dot size, then i plus plus, right, and then in here we're going to say. Okay, how to sort hash map by key. And if we go over here, we can check key first, value after, by value. Uh, that is. A pretty oh so we can just stick this in the utilities package right yeah so let's go down to the utilities package let's just look through this to make sure I understand it it's this what library is that utilities and language Utilities, and I'd assume this is also utilities. We have to import the comparator. Is that that's a warning. All right, perfect. Place that with a lambda. A lot of outdated code, from the looks of it. There we go. Uh, let's see. We can, of course, delete that because that's un that's redundant. Just do some formatting here, and I'll take a look at this later. But I do not have time for this. So then, up here, we can say, 
or sorry, over here. Oh wait, that's already static sort by value. Pass in that hash map. Okay. So we are going to say trigger. We're gonna say we're gonna say connection is equals to utils dot sort by value and we'll pass in connections needs a string and an integer okay that's fine um, first of all let's change the name so sort, sort hash map by value sort hash map by value right and then we go here we say nucleus Change this to nucleus and just do string nucleus. There we go. Nucleus nucleus and that's all good. And now that's fine. And then we can say now we can just change this to an enhanced for loops of four for each index or index is that a thing for enhanced for loop for hash map in Java for string okay so we need the key so for nucleus for nu wait a minute if it's the key first then the value that then that means it's the oh yeah yeah nucleus is the key so nucleus for nucleus and in the connections dot key is that what they did yeah dot key set we are going to print out an and then the confidence rate and or we can say connections dot get Passing n. There we go. Let's run this, see what happens. Alright, we're doing good. Only eight minutes through, so let's specify mark eight. Hello, mark. Hello, mark. Hello, mark. Okay, that's gonna invoke a stack overflow eventually, isn't it? Or not. Obviously not doing something right. For connections and oh, I haven't added any connections. Okay, so um Okay, so in theory this should work, but if it doesn't, uh we'll have to deal with that some other time. Um but then let's just add the percent. So we'll say, so let's redo this. So we'll say nucleus, nucleus, we can say, now we want to state the definition. So. Let's, we need some way to define it, so we'll do that. And then we'll say n, right, n dot definition. That's what I forgot to put. And we'll put the closing bracket. And then we'll say um, the confidence rate, right, 
and we'll say um, and uh, connections dot get the value with the key which is n right and then we'll say whoops and then after we state the number we want to put the percentage and then the closing bracket um, and yeah that should be good um, okay that's it for today um, let's just mark trigger functionality commit and push that there we go and now we should all be good so if I go over to GitHub, whoops, sign in. If I go to GitHub, go down to my repositories, go to my Mark Neal network simulation, wrong one, that's, uh, there we go, source main. Go to my neural network package, Mark 8. Now, I'm just going to be looking at the utilities. Yes, this has been pushed. So, um, I should be going I should be going to bed. Um, this has been going for 11 minutes. Let's just look over what this function does if I can do it within 2 minutes uh, before 11:30. So, hash map. So, we pass in the hash map. And then we create a list. Okay, thank God he has documentation. We have he or she create a list from elements of hash map. So yes, we create a list of of the elements with a map, a linked list. I don't know what that is. Okay, it sorts the list. So it just does a sorts method. And then it basically just translates it back into a hash map. I don't fully understand it, but I'm assuming that's what's happening. So it it does a so a hash map. I think the reason for this is because the way the strategy they took at it, they they tackled it from is um, a hash map cannot be sorted. It doesn't have a sort function. So what they do is they take a hash map and they have to take the hash map and convert it into a version, a readable version of a hash map that can be sorted, in which case is a list. So they take the hash map, they convert it into a list, which does have a sort function. It sorts it and then it converts it back into a hash map. So that way um, the hash map is sorted um, when it's in list form and then they can just convert it back in a sorted manner. Um, and then it just um, returns that hash map. Um, and yeah, it's what did I change? Nothing. Okay. Well, what the hell? Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you guys have a fabulous day. See ya.